Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Sorry for the cut. Uh, I had to end the stream at that point. So, that kind of changed things. April 18th, April 24th, 18th, April 7th. Alright, that works. So, yeah, we need to continue this war against Kushan. It's a different day for me. It's a long walk there, so I want to start early. Just to make sure. That we have no problems winning. Good. Everything proceeds as anticipated. We have deflected the first blow. The Huns or Alans are busy up here. We have a couple new tribes. The Turkish tribes, actually. Ooh. And we're still about 25, 30, yeah, 30 years away, give or take, from uh, the barbarian tribes wrecking Gallia. Which, dear God, do I ever hope they do fast. I don't like it. Like a fully united France this early in the game. That's... That does not end in any favorable fashion for us. That doesn't end in a favorable fashion for anybody. Like, let's face it here. Of all the things you never want to see in a paradox game, that is on the list. A united France in 345 AD. So we've got work to do then, at the very least. And of course, alright, that's going to be a problem. Uh, well, what jerks they are. You guys okay up there? I don't see their army, that's why I'm wondering. Oh, there's their army. Oh yeah, right, we have absolutely no manpower. This is going to get ugly. We don't really have the manpower to resist them too much, which is kind of a problem. Uh, but we're going to try. We'll try our damnedest. At least hold on for a little while. The fact that Rome's still alive is good. It's, eh. Ro Rome is on its deathbed here. It's being slowly consumed by Tyrol. And will eventually be invaded by the Almeni and the Quadi. Uh, the good news is Galicia is technically considered a barbarian tribe. Uh, no, they converted to tribal democracy. Fuck. Good, no one else has seemed to have done that. That's what I like to see. I'm gonna say that would open up a two-front war on Gallia later. But, uh, damn. I don't know, I don't think tribal democracies, uh, follow the same rule on that. Which sucks, but, what you gonna do? Yeah, we're bleeding troops sitting here. Uh, we need to withdraw. We, c we cannot continue to exist out here. <laughs> we are in too bad of a spot. If we want any chance of success, we basically have to withdraw from our position. Which sucks, but there's not much that can be done about it. You guys stay out of battle if you can avoid it. I'm just hoping that this surrenders. Good, good. That might put us in a uh, potential position to negotiate a white piece, I'm thinking. I've decided that my original plans were a little bit too ambitious for my manpower. <laughs> Quite understandably so. Needless to say, not doing so hot right now. Alright, the Jew Luke's doing fine. Oh, well, well, yeah, one Jewish province looks like it's about to become orthodox. Sucks to be them. They worked so hard on that, too. I feel bad for them now. <laughs> I feel kind of bad. But, yeah, we need to try and reinforce as best we can. At least we have cores on everything. We have that going for us. Cores and level 3 stability. Oh, yeah. Let's look at that as a mission. Should probably do that. Go with action. Fabricate a claim on Esfahan. Ooh, we can invent, invent literature. I think that's a good idea. And drama. Ooh. Soon we'll have drama, guys. Oops. Come on now. Uh, Alright, sure. We'll take the money. Probably should have just taken the freaking prestige or whatever. 
Would have been more worth it. <laughs> Alright, well. The war continues, I suppose. We are the only people who've won battles there. Oh, yeah, good. Lower Sin converted. Start working on Fars. Then we'll get Tigray. And then, actually, we will pretty much have, uh, you know... Yeah, everything except for Najran will be done. There's still Kutch, which uh, is currently unable to convert. And will not be able to for some time, but that's okay. We, we can wait. We can wait. 347, oh, no. In fact, in like a month, they'll be able to convert. What do you know? Yeah, you really are having some fucking problems there, aren't you? Oh, uh, well. <laughs> we, we gave it a little bit of help, though. <laughs> I can't really contribute that much, considering my manpower count. It's the best you're getting. Woohoo! Gain prestige and military power, everyone. Yay! So, what other missions do we have? Take Estefan. Eh, not now. We'll achieve religious unity, I guess. Even though that's completely up to the RNG gods with Najran. Hopefully it'll happen. Hopefully it'll happen. And Aryan has now started uh, spreading throughout the Hindu world as well. Which is kind of nice. That's, that's actually going to be funny. We're going to have like a crazy mixture of Orthodox and uh, Aryan out here. I'm actually surprised that Miwat is alive. <laughs> they like me. They're just like, please, please save us from the heathens. Okay, they apparently have no interest in Coruscant. I guess, yeah, they're going after the Nationalists there. Again, I have no interest in fighting. We are kind of weak. Parthia is threatening our trade, and that's to be mildly expected at this point. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just trying to withdraw and keep away from the war for now. Yeah, you want white peace? You want white peace? I am into this whole white peace thing. I admit. I am in favor of it. Very much so. Ditch it. Done. White piece. Okay, I'm done. I don't care. <laughs> oh, we were the war leader, actually. Oh, no. Never mind. <laughs> there we are. I thought when all of that disappeared that we'd actually made peace for everyone. <laughs> didn't, didn't realize. There might be a free Baluchistan soon. You never know. You never know. The Gassanids? No. Decline. I I cannot support additional royal marriages. My legitimacy as it is is too low. <laughs> Maybe when it's like a hundred. But uh not now. It's going up fine anyway, we don't need it. Ooh, war tactics. Aw ye. Tigre to the one and true faith. Now catch. Religious unity ninety two percent. Aw yeah. Anyway, that's going to do it for the episode this time for sure, guys. So, thank you everybody for watching. As always, this has been your lovely host, Calvin, signing off. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Extended Timeline. Ethiopia rising, and Rome is falling. So, not only has Byzantium betrayed them, you see the Almeni have uh, invaded. There is events in this game uh, following the invention of Military Attack 15, in which, um, basically, if you're neighboring to a barbarian and you're Rome, you're fucked. Every barbarian state declares war on you. Uh, this will later happen to Byzantium. That, that, that will happen. The Quidi and them will. I don't know about Almany since they won't share a border, probably. But, you know. And uh, the other problem is, when provinces are taken, they will, uh, much like uh, how they used to in European or Salus III, when the problems were taken by a horde and held for a little while, they flip. So what we are witnessing right now is the death of Rome. 
at the hands of the Almany tribe. It appears that the whole of Italy... Oop, hey, yep, province swapped. Rome has... Oop, Rome swapped. There, there, there you go. Rome has lost Rome. It's over. Byzantium's also betrayed them, which is funny. I'm in the war with Byzantium just because it was like, Hey, I want to get up on Rome. I can't get to them, but sure. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the Almany are now currently mass invading Rome. And it, it's pretty much over for them. It, it, it is their end. It is their doom, I'm afraid. Eh. Arianism spreads. Woohoo, Najran! Finally, you converted. Yes! Finally, the colony converts. Took a while, but hey, whatever. I'm a patient guy. I don't mind. Yeah, so there goes Italia. Italia is lost. And uh, I believe, if I did it right, um, yeah, I'm looking at the code right here, yeah. Uh, Gaul should be next to die. They were already at war with Nevadia, Tyrol, and Greece, and Algiers, but uh, eventually, in ten years after the war against Rome started, I'm trying to figure out if there's a way I can tell how long it's been there. I'm, best gonna... I'm trying to figure out, I was like, there's a way I can tell how long it's been since this started. That'd be kind of useful. Um, ten years after that starts, they will go to war with Gaul. Um, and they're going to take stuff. So will Francia, or Mundari, or whatever. Everyone's too busy being at war with Rome right now, but... And, you know, eventually Byzantium and the Quetti will fight, and all that. In time. In time. Well, that's a shitty fucking... Whatever. Protect against Parthia. How many troops do they have? 31. We have 30. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not worried. Uh, we'll be going to war with Parthia soon. Once this whole war with the Roman Empire wraps up. That's there, apparently. But yeah, this is, this is the fall of the Roman Empire. The uh, Great Barbarian Migrations have started. It would be wise for me to stay away from that region. Anyone with a barbarian government risks... Basically killing us. Well, no. They only do it against specific tags, which includes Byzantium uh, and Rome. And I've added in Gallia for good measure, because otherwise we're fucked. <laughs> they will just fuck us. GG. It'll be over. Ooh. So, you know. It is what it is, I suppose. No additional pro uh, countries have really appeared, though. Which is kind of nice, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Yep. That's all just gonna kinda get, you know, spread around. I don't know what the hell Byzantium's trying to take from them. You could probably take most of this crap here. Just, just... What is Rome? Why would Rome not say no to anything here? At this point. Oh well. Roman peasants, yeah. Oh well. Like I said, this is Rome's fall. And soon, Gallia and Byzantium will start buckling under the pressure as well. It's only a matter of time, really. The barbarian hordes are very hard to stop, and Almany just gained core and everything on the whole of Italia. When you start realizing that, the amount of power that the Almany just gained is scary. Because they get fucking instant cores on this shit, too. And that's a problem. Bit of a problem. They're orthodox, but that won't last too long. Is Arianism even, like, spread at all? It's supposed to start spreading, like, 25 years ago? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. Rome is d dead. Thus spoke Zarathustra. Ah, Zarathustra. I can't even fucking pronounce that. I know how to pronounce it. I can say it in my head, but it does not come out on my tongue. Thus spoke Zarathustra. There we go. That's better. Yeah. Some random places told. Oh yes, I should also show this off. Tanu Tava broke free, everybody. Good for them, right? You know, they're they're pretty cool. They're a fucking revolutionary republic. What the fuck? 
The year is 358, Anno Domini. They've been free for like a decade. I don't even fucking know what happened. They're, they're just there. They're big and they're a revolutionary republic. Some questions are better just left unanswered, I suppose. It's not my place to ask questions about things like that. Hey, Drew Lukes, what's up? You still Jewish? Figured. There you go. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, at least the Western Roman Empire has Salerno. That's something, right? They have bits and pieces here. Bits and pieces. <clears throat> wow. Uh, you know, like I said, the Roman Empire was just kind of in its deathbed. And we kind of saw that coming. You know? It's, it's nothing new. And soon, Gallia will join them in the graveyard of the Roman Empire. So will Byzantium. And that will be a fun day. So, I thank you all for watching. It has been fun. And will continue to be fun. It's only a matter of time now before the second Great Barbarian Invasion begins. I apologize for the short episode, um, but we're just sitting here doing absolutely jack all for a while here. I got nothing to do. I uh, just figured you guys might want to see the uh, fall of Rome, that's all. Oh yeah, hey, and Brigantes is actually United England. Go with them. Cool. Cool. I'm proud of them. The Gassanids, your faithful allies. Yeah, sure, whatever. Go, uh, go at it. Have at it. Uh, yeah. It, 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 it just feels weird looking at the shambling corpse of Rome from once, from what it once was. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. As always, this has been your lovely host, Calvin, signing off.